Windows or Linux, iPhone or Android, Blue or Red Pill, the questions that have been tingling our minds for years now. But today I will try my best to answer one of them. To answer the question of what OS is better for rendering, I will use Blender. I'll render two projects, one of my older projects and this demo file, in two different versions, 4.0 and 2.83, and I'll do three renders for each one and then calculate the average so we can have a more accurate result. And from all the distros of Linux, I'll use Linux Mint. All the tests will be run in the same system with Ryzen 3 1200. So looking at our result, on Windows we got 300 seconds for 2.83 version and 84 seconds for 4.0. And those same renders, 236 and 65 seconds respectively. So on version 2.93, I got 27% time reduction. And for 4.0, that's 28% time reduction. So I got an average of 28% faster rendering, just by using Linux. Though keep in mind that this is just a CPU rendering. But what about GPU rendering? Well, I have a RIX 580 in my system, and when I try to enable OpenCL and Blender, it simply closes. So why? You can watch my video named the worst Blender update. To put it briefly, the version 2.83 and the whole support of OpenCL causes some issues for devs, so they removed it entirely. So I can see for myself. But we can look at other videos about this from other YouTubers. For example, CG Geek made an amazing video covering the same topic, so you can check it out after this video. And looking at this data, we can see that GPU rendering on Linux gave him 40% time improvement, and on average, from all the tests he ran, it was 49% improvement. But what are other pros of using Linux? It offers great customization options, allowing users to tell their environment to suit their needs, making it a favor amongst power users. If you want to go above and beyond, you can download Arch and just tweak it for yourself. Linux is known for its stability and reliability, with many servers and critical systems relying on Linux for their operation. And it's more secure than Windows. But while Linux made significant strides for software compatibility, it may still lag behind Windows in terms of support of certain proprietary applications. Some specialized hardware may not have Linux drivers available, leading to potential compatibility issues, for example, NVIDIA's GPU. NVIDIA has been the single worst company we've ever dealt with. So NVIDIA, fuck you. The learning curve for Linux can be steep, especially for the users accustomed to more straightforward interfaces of other operating systems. All things considered, I'll encourage you to just download it and try it out. If you have a USB stick for like 64 gigabytes, that's all you need. Just download it. And you can dual boot to not go there raw. I'll certainly use Linux to render some of my bigger projects. 30% less time is like you render for 3 hours on Windows and for only 2 hours in Linux. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. But yeah, that was all for today. If you liked it and want to see more of this in the future, press like and subscribe. But for now, bye bye.